Welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a crucial topic that affects each and every one of us, the potential disappearance of some of our most relied upon food items. It's no secret that our food supply is under constant threat. From disease outbreaks to disruptions in the supply chain it's becoming increasingly clear that some of our favorite foods could soon become scarce. In the vast intricate web of our global food supply chain there are four key players that have been keeping our dinner plates diverse and delectable. Beef, pork, chicken, and fish. These protein powerhouses have long held a starring role in our meals, but their future is looking increasingly uncertain. As we navigate the 21st century, we're witnessing an amalgamation of events that are putting our meat industry under threat. The consolidation of corporate farming is one such event. This consolidation has led to a decrease in competition and an increase in the monopolization of the food industry. The result? A fragile system where a single point of failure can lead to a domino effect of food shortages. Then, there's the issue of supply chain disruptions. Our food supply chain is a complex network that spans the globe. When one link in this chain is disrupted, it can have far-reaching consequences. Think back to the beginning of the pandemic, when panic buying led to empty supermarket shelves. Now imagine that on a global scale. We must also grapple with the threat of disease outbreaks. Avian flu, swine flu, mad cow disease. These aren't just headlines, they're real threats that can decimate livestock populations and disrupt our food supply. In the face of these challenges, we might find ourselves asking, what's going to happen to our beloved beef, our cherished chicken, our prized pork, our favorite fish? Are we looking at a future where these staples are replaced by tofu and lentils? The answer is both yes and no. The future of our food isn't about replacing one thing with another, but about diversifying our plates and our palates. It's about exploring new flavors, new textures, and new ways of nourishing our bodies. So, what does this mean for your dinner plate? Let's delve deeper into this issue. Chicken is a staple in many diets, but large-scale chicken farming is on the brink of a crisis. Imagine a world where chicken nuggets, fried chicken, or even the humble chicken soup are no longer accessible as they once were. This is not a dystopian fiction but a possible reality we may soon be facing. Large-scale chicken farming, the backbone of our poultry supply, is particularly susceptible to the destructive influence of the avian flu. The avian flu, or bird flu as it's commonly known, is a viral infection that spreads from bird to bird. But not just any bird, we're talking about chickens, the very birds that lay the eggs we enjoy for breakfast and fill our dinner plates. When an outbreak occurs, it can decimate an entire flock in a matter of days. In the past, these outbreaks were often localized, impacting a single farm or a specific region. But with the consolidation of farming into large-scale corporate operations, the risk has magnified. A single outbreak on one of these mega farms can potentially wipe out millions of birds. This not only disrupts the supply chain, but also leads to a sharp rise in the prices of chicken and chicken products. So what does this mean for chicken lovers out there? Well, if the situation doesn't improve, we might be looking at a future where affordable chicken becomes a luxury, or worse, a scarcity. This potential shortage of chicken isn't just a concern for our taste buds, but also for our nutrition. Chicken is a rich source of lean protein, a key component of a balanced diet. But fear not, there are other protein sources out there that can fill the void left by chicken. When one door closes, another opens. The same can be said about our protein sources. Picture this, a plate full of vibrant, colorful food, each item bursting with essential nutrients and yes, protein. And no, there isn't a single piece of meat in sight. We're talking about alternative protein sources such as wild rice, lentils, vegetables, nuts, seeds, and legumes. Let's start with wild rice, a whole grain that's not only high in protein but also packed with fiber, antioxidants, and nutrients like magnesium, zinc, and phosphorus. It's a fantastic base for hearty salads or a wholesome side dish giving your meals a protein boost. And then we have lentils. These small but mighty legumes are protein powerhouses with a single cup providing about 18 grams of protein. Not to mention, they're also a great source of fiber, iron, and potassium. Lentils can be used in a variety of dishes from soups and stews to salads and curries, making them a versatile addition to your protein repertoire. Next up, vegetables. Yes, you heard it right. A number of vegetables, including spinach, broccoli, and peas, are surprisingly high in protein. Plus, they come with the added bonus of essential vitamins, minerals, and fiber, making them a nutrient-dense choice for your plate. Nuts and seeds might be small in size, but they're big on protein. 
Almonds, for instance, offer 6 grams of protein per ounce, while chia seeds provide a whopping 5 grams per tablespoon. Sprinkle them on salads, blend them into smoothies, or snack on them as is for a protein-rich treat. And let's not forget legumes. Chickpeas, black beans, and soybeans, to name a few, are all excellent sources of protein. They're also rich in fiber and other nutrients, making them a well-rounded choice for satisfying your protein needs. From lentils to wild rice, it's clear that there are plenty of protein-rich alternatives to meat. But what about our breakfast staple, eggs? Eggs are an integral part of our diet, but they too are under threat. Such a simple, versatile food, yet so vulnerable. Eggs like chicken are susceptible to the impacts of avian flu. This disease, when it strikes, can decimate poultry populations, leading to a significant reduction in egg supply. Imagine waking up one morning ready to scramble some eggs for breakfast, only to find the grocery store shelves barren. Or perhaps you're a baker, relying heavily on eggs for your delightful treats. The scarcity could skyrocket the cost of your ingredients, pushing up your prices and potentially driving away customers. Now that's a gloomy picture, isn't it? But let's not despair. There are measures we can take to mitigate these potential disruptions to our egg supply. Firstly, consider raising backyard hens. This isn't feasible for everyone, of course, but if you have the space and the time, it can be a reliable way to secure your own personal supply of eggs. Not to mention it's an opportunity to connect with nature and understand where our food comes from. Another option is dehydrating eggs. When eggs are abundant and cheap, you could buy in bulk, dehydrate them and store for lean times. Dehydrated eggs can be rehydrated and used just like fresh ones, and they have a shelf life of up to two years. Finally, let's talk about egg substitutes in baking. There's a surprising number of alternatives out there. Applesauce, mashed bananas, yogurt, even silken tofu can serve as egg replacements in various recipes. Of course, these alternatives may not perfectly replicate the taste and texture of eggs in every recipe, but they can certainly help fill the gap, should we encounter a shortage. We've discussed a lot today from the potential impact of avian flu on egg supply and prices to the various alternatives we can turn to. It's clear that we need to be proactive in safeguarding our food supply, and that includes our beloved eggs. While the future of our food supply may seem uncertain, one thing is clear. We all have a role to play in ensuring its sustainability. Now that we've explored the threats to our food supply, it's time to take action. The first step to safeguarding our food future is diversifying our diets. It's not as daunting as it sounds. Start by weaving into your meals more nutrient-rich grains like wild rice or protein-packed legumes like lentils. Seek out vegetables, nuts, and seeds that are high in protein. These alternative protein sources are not just delicious but also versatile, fitting seamlessly into a variety of dishes. Next, consider how you can support your local farmers. Whether it's visiting your neighborhood farmer's market, joining a community-supported agriculture program, or simply opting for locally sourced produce at the grocery store. These actions help sustain local economies, and they also lead to fresher, more flavorful food on your plate. And let's not forget about sustainable farming practices. Industrial farming has its place, but it also poses risks, as we've seen with the consolidation of the meat industry. By supporting farmers who prioritize sustainability, we can help foster a more resilient food system. For those of us with a bit of a green thumb, why not try growing your own food? Even a small herb garden or a single tomato plant can make a difference. And if you have the space and resources, raising backyard hens can be a rewarding way to ensure a steady supply of eggs. These are just a few ways we can each play a part in shaping the future of our food. It doesn't mean we need to give up our favorite foods, but rather that we should be open to new possibilities. Remember, change doesn't happen overnight, but every small step brings us closer to a more secure and sustainable food future. Your actions can make a difference, so like, subscribe, and share this video to help spread awareness about these pressing issues. Together, we can help secure the future of our food.